Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TG World 2019. Thank you so much for joining me today. Sorry about the huge Ultron Krozma. <laughs> but we need him to be watching over our place. And so I am going to um, be playing Ultron Krozma Malamar now. Uh, this is one of the most hyped decks I would say from the team up set because Ultron Krozma hits like a truck. Right, it can get to any number to one hit KO, the new tag teams, and of course all the other GXs. And it has a really good GX attack, which helps you in the non-GX matchup and in the mirror match to close out games. To close out games thanks to Giratina's ability. So there's a lot of things that you can um, try out and do. Hello, Third Bandage. Thanks so much for being here. And so. We have Ultra Crossman GX and Ultra Beast 190 HP. We were just talking about how if Rayquaza had 190 HP, it would be insane. And Ultra Crossma has 190 HP. Obviously, different cards, different attacks, but the 10 HP does actually make a big difference. And so, Photon Geyser deals 20 damage for a Psychic and a Metal, and then you discard all basic Psychic energy from this Pokemon. And this attack does 80 more damage for each card you discard in this way. So if you discard one, you're dealing 100. If you discard two, you're dealing 180, which is enough to KO uh, Tapulele and many other things. And then if you discard three, you're dealing 260 damage, which is enough to KO the most relevant tag team GX card, which is Pikachu and Sekrom. With a choice band, you can get to even higher numbers. You can get to the other tag teams if you get a fourth energy onto Ultron Grossma. And that's what makes this card really, really good. And finally, we have Sky Scorching Light GX, where you can use this attack only if the total of both players' remaining prize cards is six or less. And then you put six damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon, which is really nice, right? Um, the other Necrozma put 100 damage on all the GXs. This puts six damage counters on the non-GXs as well as all the GXs. And thanks to the uh, damage on the non-GXs, and combining it with Giratina's Distortion Door, where once you use the ability and you put back Giratina to your bench, you can place one damage counter on any two Pokemon you want on your opponent's bench. This in combination with the other GX attack, you can definitely get a turn where you get two or even three prizes thanks to that GX. Um, Giratina is another really good attacker, 130 HP, the ability is, it's as if it has a rescue stretcher included and um, you get to place the damage counters on the bench Pokemon and you have Shadow Impact which deals 130 damage which is the magic number for most of the playable at least um, GX po I mean non GX decks such as Scramble um, and the <clears throat> other Shrine decks and We put four damage counters on our side of the field, which is not ideal, but there's nothing we can do about that we have Dawnwings Necrozma as well, another Ultra Beast 180 HP, Ability Invasion, you get to switch Dawnwings Necrozma from the bench to the active if you want to. And then you have the attack Dark Flash dealing 120 damage, not applying resistance, and finally Moon's Eclipse GX dealing 180 damage. And if you are losing, well you can only use the attack if you are behind in price cards, and if you do use it, then Dawnwings Necrozma becomes immune to damage and effects of attacks. We have the 4-4 Malamar line, of course, with Psychic Recharge. We can um, attach a Psychic Energy card from our Discord pile to one of our benched Pokemon. And then we have Jirachi, which is another great addition to the deck. Stellar Wish is a fantastic ability. You take a look at the top 5 cards of your deck, choose a trainer card you find there, and then Jirachi you put in your hand. Then Jirachi gets put to sleep. With a 1 Retreat Ghost, that's fine, because we have the Escape Boards in order to attach to the Jirachi and Free Retreat even though we are asleep. And we have one Lele and one Marshadow for support. Supporters wise, we have four Cynthia, four Lily, and three Guzma for drop power and to target the Pokemon that we need to. We have four Ultra Wolf, four Mysterious Treasure, and two Nest Ball to add to the consistency of the deck. <clears throat> Along with two Virian and Forest, Virian Forest is a card that allows us to search, discard a card, and then we search our deck for a basic energy card. We can discard Psychic and then find another Psychic or we can find the basic metal energy that we need to attack with Ultra and Krozma, so that's another benefit of the Viridian Forest. And then we have um, two switching cards in the Switch and also two more in the Escape Boards. 
to rescue Stretcher to make sure that we have the right Pokemon for the right situation and recover some of the Malamars that will be KO'd along the way. <clears throat> and finally, two choice bands to make sure that the damage ends up being um, <coughs> perfect for our Ultra Necrozma numbers. A single beast energy also helps with the damage, three basic metal energy to attack with Ultra Necrozma, and eight basic psychic energy round out the deck. No Eric has this time. Um, I could be playing a split of three Cynthia, one Erika, but we're gonna give it a try without the Ericas and we'll see how it goes. Is Promo Baby Ultra Necrozma any good, Ivanus? I don't think it is, primarily because um, it requires two metal energies to attack, so you won't ever be able to just bench it, attach, power it up, and then attack. It will always have to be there for a turn, and that's the reason why I don't think it's very good. Marshall GX for Pika Zekrom, Max? I don't think so, purely because um, the Ultra Grossma can very easily hit for a 1k on Pika Zekrom anyways. Same for, against Zoark. So, <coughs> the Psychic version does require a Marshadow because you do need a um, you do need a way to hit those numbers because with three energy and a choice band, the regular Necrozma GX doesn't get a knockout on Zoark. And both Ultra Necrozma and the regular Necrozma require four energy total to KO uh, Pikachu and Zekrom. So it is a possibility, but I don't think it's necessary for this deck. <coughs> Uh, in Metagross decks, Ivan, I just, I don't think it's a very good card overall, the Baby Ultra Necrozma. You know, I don't think it's a very good card overall. Okay, so we're up against Zork, the CDI, probably one of this deck's absolute worst matchups, I would say. However, my opponent is off to a very, very slow start, which is good. Um, I will go ahead and Viridian Forest away a Lily, I believe grab an energy and then attach it we do see that three psychics are prized so getting energy into a discard pile early is going to be super clutch we are going to lily for four we do find a jirachi and another inkey that was a beautiful lily for four i will go ahead and retreat <clears throat> i will go ahead and stellar wish i will go ahead and grab the mysterious treasure here <coughs> and so the question becomes do i use marshadow do I play the switch? Do I expect my opponent to take a knockout on my Jirachi? Do I play the skateboard? There are so many things to consider here. Oh, so many things to consider. The fact that we don't get to attach an energy, that's the very sad part. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of a Malamar. That seems a bit counterintuitive, but I do have three other Malamars here. And... Ugh. Okay, so I'm really thinking I'm gonna let loose here. We know my opponent has a Zorg, we know he doesn't have much else, but he might be holding onto our rare candy plus the CDI. And I would love to find literally any energy to attach to the Ultra Necrozma. That would be the best thing for me to happen. So we will let loose, we don't find any energy. So the question is, do I retreat into the Marshadow? Uh, this is not great. Usually, decks don't play field lore anymore, so attaching the choice band is fine. Oh, I attached to the NK, that's right, Amphi, so I couldn't even attach if I wanted to. So, I guess we pass now. We do wake up, not a big deal because we do have the escape board. We're gonna see a Nest Ball, a Zorua for a Rowlet. <coughs> not prioritizing the Zorak, then we're gonna see a Great Ball for a Zorua. I assume my opponent has a Lily of some sort. Or it's yeah, there's a Lily for I would assume a Lily. So there's a Cynthia, that's fine. My opponent needs energy and Zorak to KO my Jirachi. And attaches a choice band before trading, which doesn't make much sense. Right? Oops, 
There's the energy thanks to my own stadium. So my opponent is going to get a KO here. So in order for us to get a knockout, we're gonna need a lot. We're gonna need a switching card, either an skateboard or a switch. We're gonna need double Malamar, and we're gonna need a psychic energy in hand to discard for the middle, which we just got. So that's awesome, that's step number one, right? That is step number one. I do have two switches and the escape board. So this Cynthia is going to be pretty determ de determinant. It's going to be a pretty big factor in what happens here. Uh, and not quite. Not quite. Not, well, I guess a Malamar. Thanks to the stretcher. Um... I mean, I'll bench the Inke. I definitely need to use the, um, the thing here, the Psychic Recharge. So that's a big loss of momentum for us. If we had gotten a knockout, that would have been magnificent for us. And now there's even a chance that he gets a knockout on the Ultra Growth Man. Not a very high one, right? Okay, so remove the stadium, that's fine. <clears throat> There's a Lily. There's a Zorg, so now, oh, triple Zorg now, so triple trading. Looking for those Decidio Eyes. Our Ultra Girls might save. Our Ultra Grosma is safe. What do you think about Mimikyu Copycat, Max? It's a pretty good card, I just I don't think it fits anymore into Malamar decks. There are so many good attackers, so... Pokemon Communication is better than Great Ball. Eh, there's merit to both, Ivan, there's merit to both. Uh, you think Lunal Prism is much better? In the old Psychic Malware decks, I like greed, Sideweight Ring. Hypothetically speaking, what do you think would be a cool tag team card to see? As in, which two Pokemon? Ah, uh, that's a cool question. Uh, the Rare Candy, that's awful news for us. Absolutely awful news. Especially because I'm gonna end up losing this. This hand we got off of the Cynthia was one of the worst we could have gotten. Honestly, one of the worst we could have gotten. So we are going to get two prizes, but then this orc will probably be able to get two prizes on this guy. <clears throat> um, cool combinations. I think Mewtwo and Mew would be an obvious one. I think Mewtwo and Mew GX would be a very obvious and very cool one to see. Oof, that's a really good Lily to get. So I'll burn the first Nest Ball. I'll burn the other Nest Ball. And I will grab a Jirachi. No, I'm gonna bench the Gratine. I want to maximize the cards I draw off of Lily. So I can afford to attach the metal to this, right? To guarantee the knockout. But I think I can also afford to wait and see if I get something different to conserve the metal for the other uh, Ultra Group, which is exactly what happens, which is great. Which is absolutely great. So I'm gonna be reading Forest here. One of these. For a psychic, right? Yeah, I have two psychics in there. Okay, I mean one psychic, so now I'm gonna have two. And I will grab the Malamar. No, I will grab Lele. Yeah, I will grab Lele. Should I? Maybe I should have kept it. No. Oh no, I think I messed up. Oh, I messed up. So I need to attach the Psychic to retreat. Oh my gosh. I got too eager there. I'm gonna lose the Metal Energy anyways. Ugh. That was not very smart. That was definitely not very smart. Okay. So attach the Psychic here. <sighs> that was a big misplay. Minus four Nest Ball plus four Pokemon Communication. No, Nest Ball is much better than Pokemon Communication. Much, much better. I would not cut down to anything below four nest ball. Not at all. Uh, that was a very silly. That was a very silly way to go about it. 
That was a very silly turn on my part. On my part, we get two psychics off the prize. I need the Regent Force to stay. <coughs> but not, that might not even be enough. I I messed up so badly this turn. So so badly. The energy should have gone to Enke. I messed up so badly this turn. Not gonna lie, I messed up so badly this turn. I need to reinforce for the psychic and then use the psychic to retreat and then keep the mysterious treasure in my hand. Oh jeez. That was very, very silly. Pelindones, please stop calling a deck a cancer deck. Cancer is not something you should joke about. So please stop calling it that. And yeah, Maxonic, I think they're talking about in Zorak decks where you don't play Mysterious Treasure, but I would definitely, like, I would consider switching out Timer Balls and Great Balls for Pokemon Communication, but not Nest Ball. Nest Ball is an incredible card at any point in the game. Okay, so I might actually just get another knockout here. Wow, my opponent? Oh no, he went for the Fearing and Forest. Get rid of a Dartrix, that's fine. He only hits me for 100, so sure. My opponent will be able to knock me out next turn with the CDI. I top deck the Metal, which is incredibly lucky. But because I have the Guzma, <clears throat> because I have the Guzma, I can Guzma KO at the CDI, and then this Ultra Necrozma will be safe. And that will likely be game. That will likely be game. Right? I will KO the full art one. Then I'm gonna use Viridian Forest to grab a Psychic. It helps me thin a little bit. And now I have access to another Guzma, which is awesome. Deal do 160 damage. And okay, so another tag team that I would like to see. I said Mew to a Mew, Nido King and Nido Queen tag team. That would be a pretty cool tag team to have. Polyrath and Politoed, Velsum and Vileplume. Um, what else? What other ones? Uh, Slow King and Slow Bro. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is game. Because if he just attacks the active, I attach for energy and then I go double psychic recharge and KO. He goes Guzma to KO a Malamar, that's also fine. <clears throat> right? Yeah, because I can ultra ult for a Malamar and then Lele for a Guzma for game. So we've won here. Ludicolo and Montkip. Yeah, Dalga and Palkia, that's true. Um, Cernias and Evelto don't fit wow doesn't even ko the malamar which means i don't get an attack of this turn yikes big yikes so i'm gonna attach here i'm gonna psychic recharge uh okay another mistake well i could just draw a switch right but by attaching to the active now oh, i should have okay I did everything in the wrong order. I 100% did everything in the wrong order. I should have just attached to the active, played the ultra ult, and then sent yet. Oops. Heat more Durant. Yeah, that too. I'm gonna be reading on forest away the energy. And okay, so I need a switch. And there it is. Uh, the mistake was attaching before. Um, committing the energy before using Cynthia and committing it to the bench because then I could no longer draw the escape board to get a knockout all I could do was draw switches which I still had two of them but instead of having two outs I would have had three but it doesn't matter because I find it anyway so that's cool <coughs> reason and Genesec tag team 
Uh, Virizion and Genesec, they don't share any typing, though. I would say maybe like Virizion and Terrakion or Virizion and Kubalion, but Genesec doesn't share anything with um, the Virizion. Okay, so that was a solid game. Um, we usually shouldn't be more consistent than a Zorg deck, but my opponent's start was very underwhelming. Sunker and Celesteel. <laughs> They don't share anything, though. Um, like, all the tag teams that have been released so far, they share a typing. <laughs> Broken Ryan fan tag team. <laughs> Meragro Solgaleo tag team. That would be pretty nice. Even Solgaleo Lunala tag team. They're both psychic types. Don't they share grass typing? No, Celestila is not a grass type. Celestila is flying metal. Feromosa and Boswell, they are. They are both bug type Pokemon. They share the bug type. Yeah, like they, they, the tag team share the type in, uh, in the video games, not in the TCG. Um, but we like we could see a grass type puzzle at some point because it's a bug fighting type and Feromosa is also a bug fighting type I believe. Yeah. Beedoof plus Arceus, that would be the biggest meme in Pokemon history. <laughs> Do you think Pikazon will have a big impact on expanded Tribune and Shroomish? I think it could because of Max Elixirs, but I honestly don't know yet because um, I've been focusing mostly on expanded and um, Australia and Collinsville testing um, like expanded doesn't exist for me until after <clears throat> Until after Collinsville and that's only if I decide to go to Toronto, which I might decide to skip it Because it's fairly expensive and it's expanded <laughs> If it was just expensive and it was standard I wouldn't mind too much, but because it's expensive and it's expanded. That's what puts me off Evil Tall Darkrai tag team indeed. That would be pretty good. But we did we already have um Greninja plus uh Zorg for like the big dark type, so that probably wouldn't end up happening, but that would be nice synergy for sure, Evil Tall Darkrai. Um And yeah, strong energy makes fighting Pokemon counter Pigarum easier in expanded, that is true, along with um even the fighting stadium that exists as well. Uh, no, Genesect is metal and bug, and Virizion is grass and fighting, so they actually do not share the grass typing. They actually do not share the grass typing. Oh, Darkrai and Umbreon is an upcoming tag team anyways? I did not know that. Any thoughts in Lucario for standard ELXs? I mean, you'll probably beat Pika Zekron, but you're gonna lose to all the Malamar decks. And my opponent decides to concede for whatever reason stop it i'm going to toronto <laughs> i i really want to but like i'm at a point right now where i have like the itch to go hard and push for day two and travel a lot and try and get as many cps as possible um for the travel awards and whatnot but i also remember last season where i got very tired and in the past few years, I've day two, I've day two'd one expanded regionals, and I've dropped out of like three, and I've gotten like some points at others. So, for some reason, expanded just doesn't seem to to work well with me. Um, Groudon, Camerupt, and Kyogre Sharpedo. That's those are two very good ones, Max. Those are definitely some very cool ones. <coughs> Purely because of the Team Magma and Team Aqua references. Groden, Camerupt, and Kyogre Sharpedo would be really good tag teams. Yeah. And yeah, Shining Genesect is grass, but it's grass because it's a... Uh, 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 wow, what is this? PG with a grass energy. It's only grass because it's... Um, because it's part bug. Yeah, so... I do want to go to Toronto, it's just... Uh, it's, I really need to to decide on my plans for the later stages of the season. Which, nothing is set in stone. I do want to go to Toronto, I really do. If it wasn't expanded, it wouldn't even be 
up for discussion. But because it is standard, that's what I mean. If it was standard, it wouldn't be up for discussion. But because it is expanded, that's what puts me off, honestly. Entei and Magmar, yeah. I could see like unknown tag team. No, not unknown. Like all the all the small legendaries, like Mew and Celebi, um, Victini with something. Um, Vic Heatran Victini. I could see Heatran Victini because they're from the same. No, they're not from the same gen. Never mind. What's a legendary fire type from fifth gen? Are there any? Oh, Mesprit and Ace Elf and Uxi, Re the Regis. The Regis could be cool as tag teams. Articuno, Saptos, Moltres, Giratina and Ghastly, an own A and an own B tag team. <laughs> Slug my Heatram. Reshiram, yeah, re but Reshiram is already out with Charizard. Like, there's a confirmed Charizard and Reshiram tag team. Okay, we'll take the extra four cards. My opponent is playing Selby and Venusaur. <coughs> Which is an interesting deck for sure. Now we are dead drawing. Our previous hand was two lilies and we draw extra cards and now we are dead drawing. Which is not very nice. Garp Mock Tag Team, yeah, that could be good. Deoxys and Espion also confirmed. Field Blowers away my thing. Which is not very nice. Final uses air mail. Flareon plus Entei, Vaporeon plus Suicune, Jolteon plus Rhygon. That would be a pretty cool combination, Ivanus. I could definitely see those. Um, <laughs> Max, pues sí, parece que Venomos GX tiene mucho mérito y podría ser una muy buena carta. Creo que es. Creo que tiene potencial. No le he pensado mucho porque. No está la carta aún, pero si le está yendo bien en, <coughs> en Japón, debe ser por algo, ¿no? Ok, so Psychic Recharge. On to the Ultra Necrozma. I actually have enough resources to KO the Celebi and Venusaur next turn. So I think I'm going to hold off for that. Because, because my opponent played Escape Rope, now he needs a switch to attack next turn. So, I'm just gonna like be cool and pass. And then next turn, I will attach Psychic Recharge, use Giratina's ability, put a damage counter on the Celebi and Venusaur, and then hit for 260 for the KO. And I'll already be halfway there to winning the game. That's awesome. What about a Reggie Gigas plus Reggie's tag team, where you can only play it if all three Reggies are on your bench? Yeah, I mean, now that they've made the tag teams, the combinations are endless, right? Oh my gosh. Come on. He goes with me. Limbo Limbo. Search your effort to two basic energy cards, then attach them to your opponent anyway. Like, wow. What even is this deck? Ah, uh, now I can't get a knockout. Darn it. Why would you goose my the Ultra Goodman, maybe my opponent knew. Uh, 180 damage. Ultra Goodman will survive. I think I just need to take the knockout then. I think I just need to take this knockout. My opponent has two cards in hand though. Maybe I just Goodman. But it feels better than just attacking and letting myself be confused and burned and everything else. I feel like this is a much stronger plan. I will so I can recharge. Oh, I forgot to use Garantina's ability. Oh, I forgot to play the damage counter. That could be crucial. I'll keep the choice one in my hand as a surprise. Because honestly, my opponent could be playing a second field lower. Agron and Steely stacking GX indeed. Okay, so the, the important question here is, why have they not released a fighting type GX? Tag Team GX. Every other type... Is there a Dragon type Tag Team? Maybe Dragon is missing as well. So why have they not released a Fighting type and a Dragon type Tag Team? Yeah, Dragon... I don't think there's a Dragon type either. 
So why are they skipping on those two? Are they overpowered? Do they have too much support because of Diancy Prism and perhaps Lance? And Altarius? Oh, Latius and Latius is trying. Never mind. Oops. So just fighting. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> no, come on. How do you have back to back Kuzmas? Oh, you're kidding me. How do you have back to back Kuzmas when you've done nothing? Ugh. And I'm drawing nothing as well. Okay, please don't confuse me. Ugh. Man, this is so frustrating. This is honestly very frustrating. Now I'm gonna have to risk the flip. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. So do I just retreat then? Fine. I won't risk the flip. I'll let my opponent have a third raw Kuzma. That's what's going to happen. I'll let my opponent have a third raw Kuzma. I don't want to play the Viridian. I want it to be a surprise. I want my opponent to think that I don't have the KO. I want him to think that I'm struggling more than I actually am. Marshadow and Matchem tag team. That would be a pretty cool MP. That would be pretty cool. Do my opponent just play Acrobat? No, never mind. The DC was for the retreat. He kept an energy on the Pidgeotto, interestingly enough. Okay. I have knockout on the active. My opponent has one card in hand. It's not Guzma, finally. Thank you. Okay, even if he attaches an energy for a turn, I am okay with that. It's not the end of the world. Sure, he'll get a knockout. I will get three prizes to his one. And I'm hoping off of my top deck and the three prizes, I can finally stabilize. Malamar is nice. Not the best, not the worst either. I will be reading Forest away the Giratina. For the Psychic, the Psychic has to go to the active. The Choice Pen has to go to the active. <clears throat> And then I will use one Giratina ability. The damage counter here could matter. The damage counter here could also matter <coughs> for the GX attack, right? This guy already gets KO'd, which is awesome. And this guy can't get KO'd. And then I do believe I will Psychic Recharge onto the Inke. So I have a way to retreat off of the Guzma. So, okay, finally, finally, we get rid of this tag team. Celebi and Venus are tag team. So annoying. The double Kuzmas was big. Oh, he has the thing. I forgot he even had that. <coughs> okay, two supporters prize. No wonder we were dead drawing. We had only played one, though. Ugh. But now that stadium, jeez. Now that's the game. Okay, so honestly, the plan might be to GX next turn to get two more prizes on the Pichoro and the Marshadow and then do a Kuzma for a KO on this guy. Or I could just end up attacking with the Giratina. One of the two. Who even plays Baton in Celestor? I mean, my opponent's deck, he's playing a Lowland Marowak. <laughs> so my opponent's deck is definitely out of the norm. Wishful Baton, Mr. Mime. A Alolan Marowak. Like, I'm less surprised that he's playing Wishful Baton than he is playing the Alolan Marowak. And Makargo, so. <laughs> Garchomp, Lucario, Tag Team would be sweet. The thing is, they don't share any typing. Garchomp is Dragon Ground in the video games, and Lucario is Fighting Steel. So, if they keep up with the current Tag Team trend of they share stuff. Garchomp Lucario is not going to be a thing, but, and we already have Lucario with Melmetal, so. Okay, uh, the escape board, I think I should attach it just to get rid of it, and then I'll, I have to Cynthia. Um, the, the Slugma is another potential target, and ooh, 
Is this enough? No, it's not. And I'm dead drawing again. Why does this keep happening? I can use my GX. Oh, I can win. I win. I actually win. <clears throat> because he benched the Slokma, I actually win here. Whew. This was intense. This was very, very intense, not gonna lie. Yeah, I win with a GX indeed. There's the three prizes, so I will attach. I will psychic recharge. And I will GX. Awesome. Cool. So Sky Scorching Light, six damage counters everywhere. Triple prizes right there. Pidgeotto, Marsh Shadow, and Luck Mom. Is Dino Celebi the only viable grass deck right now? No, Lost March, I guess if you want to consider that a grass deck. Um, Jump Love is a pretty powerful Pokemon. Um, so Lost March is there. Um, Kyogre and Manaphy Tag Team GX, indeed. That would be pretty cool. Um, Kyogre plus Sharpedo, and I like the idea behind Kyogre and Sharpedo on Camera plus uh, Groudon. I think I like that one. And Camera Groudon could be the fighting type tag team that we want. And so, guys, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for Ultra Malamar. Um, I think that's gonna be it for today, actually. Um, I'll try and play Blastephalon tomorrow. I don't know if I'm streaming tomorrow or not because I am going to Costa Rica for the weekend for the special event, so that should be very fun. I can indeed show the Malamar list Deadly B, not a problem. Not a problem. There is the Malmar list. Um, there's an ad running right now, I can tell, so I will wait and. And yeah, um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the stream. I appreciate the support. Special thanks to the people who resubscribed and Ruben who sent us the 1500 bits that's very very kind and yeah guys um always looking to improve so any sort of feedback is always welcome if you're watching youtube don't forget to leave a like it really helps out the channel the list flowed pretty nicely i would however take out one of these and add one ericas i think that's something i would definitely do i love ericas i think it's my favorite card from the new set and it reminds me of the stevens um Erika is a dead card in the early game, but I do think that um, the benefits of the Erika later in the game definitely outweigh the chance of you starting with it as a dead card early on. Perhaps we need to have four Cynthia for Lily and the ninth card could be Erika. We could drop something else perhaps from the list. Maybe the eighth Psychic, though I'm not that big of a fan of that, but um, that would be what I would do moving forward and so guys that will be all for me today thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i will now leave you with someone else but appreciate the support let me know if you're enjoying the video the channels everything all all comments are always welcome and i will see you hopefully tomorrow thank you so much and until next time bye, -bye.